we're about to take a tour of one of the most interesting homes on the market right now for sale in DC and Capitol Hill, right across the street from Stanton Park. And this is the entire home. It's not a multifamily property. It's an eight bedroom, four and a half bath, 4,400 square foot home, brand new construction. If you want more information about the neighborhood of Capitol Hill, I've done a video in the past explaining all the amenities of Capitol Hill, the Capitol Hill neighborhood. So you can check that out for more insights on the neighborhood. But quick backstory on this property. This was actually a dry cleaner. So for everyone who was getting their dry cleaning done here, <laughs> might have to find one. But the, the good thing about Capitol Hill is there are dry cleaners everywhere. So this home was purchased last year in May of 2023 for 875,000 and after hundreds of thousands of renovations well new construction the home is all being offered for sale at 3.3 million dollars so let's go inside and take a look okay so this is the front yard. We're right off Massachusetts Avenue, steps from the Capitol and the White House. Really excited to tour this property and explain all the amazing features of it. So first things first. At this price point, three point three million dollars. This is a luxury home. This was a um, this door right here was handmade, and it's an eight thousand dollar sorry twelve thousand dollar door, right? So as we go to the right, we have this living area. We have speakers in the ceiling. You get a good view of Stanton Park. right there and then you have your dining area over here more windows so it's really bright in here you have oak hardwood floors these were handmade locally in Southern Maryland. So these aren't your typical Home Depot floors. And then this is the first entrance to the kitchen. Another entrance right there, but we're gonna go through this one. Before we get into the features of the kitchen, this is the first bathroom, it's a half. Then we have the kitchen. So these aren't cabinets. This is at, what's behind these are actually is actually it's uh is actually duct work, right? These are cabinets. So there's no official uh, pantry, but we have lots of storage space. We also have this one. You're gonna have to be at least seven foot three to be able to get all the way up there, but uh, <laughs> we could improvise. You can use a ladder, you can use a hook. We have these light fixtures and the countertops are Turkish honed marble. So these aren't quartz countertops. They look like them, but they're actually not. We have the gas stove and then we have the refrigerator, which is actually built in also freezer give you a good view so as we can see the that original dc charm has been meticulously restored in this property right so it's not like your new condos that you see that a lot of people tend to complain about not having character this home 
the exterior is, is your traditional DC brick exterior and the interior is also, it's a modern version of a DC home. So let's go out back and see what we have. You have this, that's a storage shed right there. So that's not a, not, not a garage. And then we have this area right here where you can hang out. Okay, so let's head to the basement first. Also, one thing too that I realized are these, these are really quality doors. So they're actually heavy, right? At this price point, really want the quality stuff. The buyer of this home would not be impressed with, you know, those flimsy lightweight doors. So we have these wooden banisters. And here we have the basement. So we have two bedrooms down here and also a full bath. All right. So this is kind of like your entertainment space. We have the speakers and the ceiling. Give you a good view of that. That's just the water heater right there and storage. Bedroom number one. We have the full bath. And we have bedroom number two. So, um, as you can tell down here, there's no, there's no kitchen, right? So we have additional storage right here. There's no kitchen. So we have an uh, exit right here, which you can use to go back outside. There's no kitchen in this basement because, um, so sorry, there's no kitchen here. So we cannot, it wouldn't be ideal to be used as an in-law suite. So let's head upstairs and uh, check out level three and level four. Okay, so level three. This is the master bedroom. So tons of windows. So in this home, there are 50 total windows. So it's really bright, but at the same time, you know, um, you're gonna have to keep your blinds up majority of the time to get a lot of the light. So um, walk-in closet and then the bathroom so we have a shower the toilet with the privacy door and then we have the tub got dual sinks definitely gonna have to have all three blinds down while taking a bath right So this property has garnered a lot of attention, right? So 
Uh, everyone who walks past, they're always very curious of, because I think this is the only home in the entire neighborhood that actually looks like this. So it's um, garners a lot of attention. So that's bedroom number three. Here's bedroom number four. We have the laundry area right here. Bedroom number four. We have views of the backyard. And then we have the main bathroom. So let's head up to third and final level. We have the last three bedrooms, so this is the the bigger of the three. The closet. And then have views of Stanton Park. Right, where everyone goes to exercise, walk dogs, hang out, enjoy the weather, all that good stuff. Again, we've got these heavy doors, good closet space right there. You have another bedroom, spacious one. So the spacious bedrooms are on the fourth level. The bedrooms on the third, they're on the smaller side. Got the ceiling fan and uh, more closet space. So, good amount of closet space. Then, another bathroom. The HVAC system, got this little sitting area. This could be used as an office. And then bedroom number eight, which has its own bathroom. So beautiful home, eight bedrooms, four bathrooms, 4,400 square feet. Now, let me give you my objective analysis of this property. So let's start with the good stuff. What I really love about this home is the builders, they maintain the original Capitol Hill aesthetic, right? So uh, starting from the exterior with the exterior brick, majority of the homes in Capitol Hill, they have the same exterior facade, right? So it, it, it blends in perfectly with the neighborhood and it doesn't look like some um, <laughs> I don't know, some vacation home condo in Miami, right? It blends in with the neighborhood of Capitol Hill. The second thing is also in the, uh, the, the interior, a lot of the, you know, the finishes, the doors, they also blend in with the homes in the neighborhood. It's just of a higher grade, right? And lots of space, lots of bedrooms. It's really nice and open. 50 windows gives ample lighting. And um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what I think decent sized kitchen although some folks did think the kitchen was a bit small for the price point i don't know you can tell me what you think um you know folks are kind of 50 50 on that here's what i think might be a concern for potential buyers there's no parking so if we just come back here i think i showed this earlier 
you can see all we have in the yard is this space over here, right? So there, there's no parking, but here's the thing. Majority of homes in Capitol Hill do not have parking. So I would assume people who buy homes in Capitol Hill, they don't really necessarily care about that because Capitol Hill is an extremely walkable neighborhood. I think they have a walk score of, it. Ha I don't even think, I know they have a walk score that's in the 90s. There is the metro that's close by. You even have like the bikes out here. So a lot of people just walk. It's a Sunday afternoon. You know, you see everyone walk in. Capitol Hill Marathon was today. So folks get around pretty easily in, in Capitol Hill, right? Now, the flip side to that is at this price point, $3.3 million, a buyer would probably expect to get a parking spot, right? But also here's a caveat to that. This is just my theory. I'm thinking the profile of buyer who is gonna buy a $3.3 million home in Capitol Hill, I don't know, I might be wrong. Might be someone in politics, some important person, you know, uh, because of the close proximity of this property to the White House, to the Capitol. And most likely that person is not gonna be driving themselves around, right? That's just my theory, I don't know. Uh, that's just what I'm suspecting, right? So that's what I think. Probably gonna have some kind of car service that's gonna chauffeur them around, get them to everywhere they need to be, right? So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this property? What were the upsides, potential downsides, all opinions, I'm actually curious about this because I saw this property go up from, you know, when they tore the dry cleaners down and building up the whole structure because my office is right across the street. So I got a good timeline of everything that happened.